Hi Game Park here and welcome in another beautiful day here in Malaga. I'm just going to switch a bit the schedule so it's gonna be exploring the morning and skateboarding the afternoon. But before I want to challenge myself, can I do the full intro in Spanish as we are in Spain? <coughs> Hola, ¿cómo está mi amigo? Bienvenido en un nuevo vlog en Málaga. Ahora vamos a mirar el mirador de Málaga. Está muy guapo. Ma está a 6 kilómetros viajes con eh, eh, las zapatillas. No autographs, please. You want a tip to not be hurt, but it looks very ridiculous. Just have to go all the way down, and so it doesn't hurt your knee. But I agree. Yeah, well, you might look ridiculous. And the bonus part of walking backwards, it, you really feel like you are rewinding a tape. Like, so now we are in front of the Ruben Alcantara Skate Park in Malaga. The only thing in it is the title of the video. It is an outdoor skate park. But somehow you have to pay, so I'm going to skate the park, and after that I'm going to tell you what I think about actually paying for an outdoor skate park, but also more about the whole aspect of skateboarding here in Spain, because it's, it's kind of practical. review time okay um, I mean obviously this place is really great and uh, it's really good for training and training is really the word because like when you walk in you don't feel like you're going in a skate park and you feel like you are going in a training facility it is really the proper word like under the ramp there you actually it's like built like a stadium and under you have actually showers which is really great you have lockers and you have like a restroom where you can change it is really built like like it is like if skateboarding was a sport and now I, I mean with the Olympics and all that stuff it is a huge debate like I said the park is great but my opinion is still I like to go in a park whenever I want not considering hours not especially paying um, and I, I like my park kind of rusty a bit like you know a bit weird a bit close to street and I know you never see me street skating on my channel because I never do it and I don't do it because I don't like it, I don't do it because like street skating alone is inappropriate, I feel like. I don't want to focus on a trick, focus on the people that can maybe be around, focus on the camera, focus on, on the partitional security guard. John Hill, of course, do a really great job at that. I, I don't like it, I prefer going into skate, but also, many of the time I'm more a transition guy. That's a bit of the mentality of skateboarding here in Spain, I feel like, because there is a lot of skate school main of the indoor skate actually in like 95% of the indoor skate park I only skate school almost not open to the public and it, it is I talk about this with a local I think it's skateboarding that nice aspect to it is that it's learning it in the street you know learning it with your friend not having a, 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 um, a sport approach of it it's, I, I don't know it's a different approach of learning things and it's why I, I absolutely love that out of my mind just think that it's great sport is evolving god I use the word sport but I mean our discipline <laughs> is evolving and a, a second part of my, my brain is just like I think a lot of skateboarders have that conservative uh, aspect of it and uh, Maybe, uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a prehistoric pre guy and I have like a bit of struggle to move on. Now the only real question I am asking myself is, is it the true spirit of skateboarding? Uh, I mean, get yourself your answer, for me it is not really. Now let me tell you the story where I almost met Killian Martin. So Killian Martin used to be like 
one of my biggest inspiration. Now, a bit less, I moved a bit from freestyle. Uh, so, uh, like two days ago, I saw him passing a picture of him doing freestyle here and like riding the wave and I was like, okay, I'm gonna meet Kian Martin, he's gonna be in the same city as I am. This is like my opportunity of doing my biggest collab and also meeting one of my biggest inspiration and still one of the, my favorite skater and so I text him. Honestly, I was not accepting any answer. He did answer, which I'm really surprised. I, I, I mean, I sent a message to shit ton of people to collab, and he have like 157k, and he took the time to answer, which I, I'm already already really happy. And he he told me like, well, I'm sorry, I'm making the US, and I was like. Bye bye. I really want, don't want to be the poor guy wearing the helmet that I had. This should probably burn the helmet. For real. All good, very good, very, very good. Okay, okay. Yep, you guessed it. I had ice cream for breakfast. I know it, it's probably really not healthy, but so satisfying. Also, you have to know that there is kind of an ice cream culture. I guess it's because of the warm weather. So it is extremely good and it is a ridiculous amount of ice cream for the price. Now on, now on this guys, I'm going to end up the video right here. I really hope you enjoyed it and I would definitely love to know your opinion about paying for an outdoor skate park and our skate school and actually the whole spirit behind it. So don't forget to share your opinion in the comment section and of course like this video and subscribe for more content. See you very soon in another city guys. Take care.